but uh, morning guys welcome to today i'm just uh messaging the vet don't let me forget i keep forgetting i need to message the vet about chino make sure that we're doing all the right things six 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 is working on math she has like i told you guys a big math test we looked at the math test and we're like mm, we're not ready for that math test so uh, Sam's helping her with that. He's taking over the math because math is hard. I'm going to add language in a couple of days and I'm going to work with her on that on the days that Sam works. One fifth. Um, this is hard stuff. It's harder than like when you go to regular school. I've heard people say that before. Anyways, Sophie's doing math. We're getting ready to go. We have a lot on the agenda today. I want to ride. I have my riding pants on. I have nothing to ride. I have to take it really slow with Penny. I'm taking it really slow with Penny. So... Yeah, that sucks. I even put riding pants on today in hopes that I could ride. I might call Camilla and ask her if I could take a lesson or just go for a ride by myself with her. She just lessens on the trail. And I wanted to tell you guys really quick that yesterday in our ride, I was really nervous. But our leader was a young girl. She was only 13 and she actually took it way slower. Um, we did some challenging things though, like we did figure eights in the grass and we like cantered them and, and, and trotted them and it was like a lot of twisting and turning and Camilla told me that that can be really challenging for some riders, especially if you're not experienced. I didn't even find it hard at all. I found it exhilarating and fun and I wanted to do more. Like the whole ride was, was kind of more geared, scaled down for like a little bit. So we weren't galloping as much. Like I think we barely galloped and... Actually, I don't even think we galloped. We just did some cantering and I felt like, oh, this is boring. I need to do more. Like, it was fun. It was fun. When we were behind Gabby, we galloped. You didn't gallop. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think I galloped. We figured it all out in the end, but that video is coming up soon. So anyways, Yeah, me and Elizabeth like behind Gabby. Yeah, everybody likes behind Gabby. When Gabby gets out there and is acting wild, everybody likes her, right? Okay, so, uh, anyway, we're getting school done, and then we're going to catch up with you guys in a little bit. We're going headed to the barn. I'll tell you why. I don't even think we told you this. Like, it's been busy. I'll tell you why when we get to the barn. All right, so. Oh, I put my socks in your pocket. No. Oh, put your socks. Why do you have socks? So I can put, wear my room. Okay, so, anyways, when you were here yesterday, or the other day, uh, there was a screw on the ground. And I'm like, what the heck is that screw from? I didn't throw it out. Anyways, my saddle's missing a screw. I bet you, I bet you it's from that. So I'll have to look for it after. But anyway, we're here. It's cold. At the barn because Mr. Chino Bambino lost a shoe. And this is it. Hmm. Look at all the mud in there. So anyway, we found it's the silicone. shoe. Silicone. Oh, that's silicone. Yeah, that's right. So luckily. Oh, look, this is a cute little jump for me. Oh, that is adorable. Uh, you're not allowed to jump. Fiona just wants you to walk, trot, get thin, low, low, and a lot of horses have their rain sheets on. So maybe we'll do that too. I'm ready for like rain season. Friday I got a message from a girl here and she said, hey, Chino lost his shoe. And I'm like, how do you know Chino, how do you know it's Chino's shoe? And she said, it's standing, it's laying on the ground right beside him. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> pretty good idea. So anyway, this is it, and he's got leather pads, so I didn't want to lose the shoe. And then I phoned the farrier, and of course he had to wait for the weekend. We can't tell if that's our horse. No, it's not. That's not, I can tell the ears are too big. All the other horses are out here eating hay like good boys and girls. Our horses are over there eating grass. Sophie said it best. She's like, yeah, well, they know that the snow's coming soon. Why not eat the grass while well, you can because soon there will be none all right you guys go that way and i'll go this way there's two horses follow the horses follow the horses there's horses in the woods so we're late our farrier is going to be here we got to hurry you guys you guys go that way i'll go this way whoever finds them first let me know we'll met phone each other interestingly enough i found them back at the home i don't see sophie or gabby that's weird they're playing games with us or maybe, hi Finn, don't you guys get fancy. Hi handsome, are you playing games? Hi, and Chino, hi, where are you guys? 
I caught the horses. We're at the barn. They're where? They're at the gate? Yeah. Yeah, we know. We saw them, but then they ran. <laughs> they ran from you? So, oh. Yeah. All right, well, I'm here watching. I'm guard. I'm on guard duty. Uh-oh. Shoot. Come here, Finn. Look. Here, I got a shoe for you. Here. Look. Oh, see, he thinks a shoe. He wants a shoe. Finn, he wants a shoe. Yeah. Here. Just a minute. Yeah, I am. Here we go. Yeah. Uh-oh. Wrap my arm around him. I'm a bit scared. It's okay. I got treats. Wrap my arm around him. Yeah, it's all muddy. That's why we wear barn shoes, Sophie. Uh-oh. You stay here. Stay. You're caught. You're just getting your feet done. And then a little ride. Relaxing ride, if Fiona wants you to have. And then that guy. Teamwork makes the dream work. But basically, Laura saved the day. I saved the day. It was me. I'm just bragging. It's fun. I break in fun. I know I'm not awesome. I know I have a lot to learn, especially with horses. I know that we have a lot of gaps in our learning. A lot of it is because of where we are. Like, I was telling my friend earlier about how, like, you can only learn as much as you can learn. Like, we can only learn what we're taught. One shoe on, one shoe off, lame and less time. Yeah, she knows a mess. One shoe off, one shoe on. Then he looks like he's got fingerprints on him. Just glad we found the shoe because shoes are actually very expensive. Which is basically why I say I'm never buying another horse with shoes. I prefer, much prefer horses with no shoes. And then sometimes you buy a horse with no shoes and then they need shoes, but I'll be telling whoever helps us buy any more horses, no shoes! Uh oh, hopefully I didn't break it's that. It's a metal shoe. Do they break? Are gonna break it? Sounded like it broke. You better pick it. Hey, handsome man. Hello. Yeah, he loves to have his head scratched. Finn tripped. It looks like he was one thing. He tripped and this came out of his foot. Oh, goodness. So, um, yeah, I should hoof it first. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Hoof pick him. Um, because this is... It's a huge rock. Penny had rocks the other day, too. Made me nervous. It feels good to be back at the barn, though, and see our boys. I want to bring them home. Like I keep telling you guys, I love my horses at home way better i love to go out there and be busy do stuff with our horses wait i just throw the rocks outside store rocks inside laura so i wanted to tell you guys that after riding at the pasofino place i decided i want a new saddle so sophie wants a saddle for her birthday so um maybe i'll just give her mine no just joking <laughs> um but i want a new saddle too and i what i want like it, you guys know it took me a long time to figure out it takes me a long time to figure out what I want, yeah, I got a nice when? birthday pe present. Oh. Almost two months early, but anyways. That was a Mother's Day present. No, I got new bell boots, or no boots. That was a Mother's home. Day present. No, I just got them yesterday. Two oh, days those, yeah. So yeah, anyways, my whole point of the story is, is that it took me a really long time to figure out what kind of saddle that I want. And I love the endurance saddle, the Tucker endurance mm -hmm. saddle. I ride in a treeless one. And when I sit back a little, your bum uh, squishes right into the seat like it's so soft it's literally like a couch literally I've sat on couches exactly the same same material same feeling it's just soft you lean back a little it's so cushioning it's so nice and I know Tucker saddles can be like really heavy so that's why I never wanted one before but the one I ride in at the Pasofino barn is uh, treeless and so I don't know about the whole treeless situation. It feels so secure and safe. Like I never feel like I'm sliding or slipping. And so I've been looking them up and they're like around a thousand dollars on used, which is so good for a saddle. Finn's like, I do not want a saddle. Uh, anyway, so that's what my new goal is gonna be. I'm gonna be looking for a saddle. You wanna start saving up? Yeah, I'll start saving up for two. One for me and one for Sophie. So we wanted, I wanted to try something. Some of you guys won't like it, some of you will. I was reading and talking to a friend and we were saying how like if Sophie lunged Finn hi Chino Chino's here anyways that we were thinking like we were talking about how like if Sophie could lunge Finn for 10 minutes or so at the beginning of each lesson and get him focused and listening to her then it might be easier for her when she rides him so oh here he is here's the farrier 
So it's just all the gates each direction. in an attempt to get him listening, but not really him listening. Some people think that we blame everything on Finn and on our horses. Whoa. And we don't at all. <laughs> it's just the way I say things that make people confused. We don't think that our horses are doing anything wrong at all. Obviously, we're completely inexperienced in the whole process of training. In Canada, in Ontario, where we live, learning to ride is so different than the way people are taught in other areas of the world. And definitely it's not, it's not, definitely there are way better ways, but we're really limited in what we can do. Like coaches here don't teach groundwork. Coaches here don't teach lunging. Like we only got taught to lunge because we beg to be taught to lunge. Uh, but we have been taught, like we don't ever want to run our horse, make our horse run. Lunging is not for energy, it's for communication. That's what I believe, that's what I've been told, taught. Sophie's going to show you guys Finn's superpower. It's... It's stopping. <laughs> she said stop. She blew out. Whew, she stopped. So Chena's getting his shoes back on and Finny's getting his shoes, feet done. And then tomorrow the girls get their feet done. And then Friday the chiropractor comes. Like it is an expensive week, Chino Bambino. Yes it is. Finn likes to watch himself in the phone, in the camera app. Oh, you're gonna give Finn treats? Did Sophie get, did Gabby give? Not Finn, these are for... Um, oh, for the horses at the other barn. Oh, okay, now I gotcha. Um, it has sugar cubes, these treats, and then these treats. Right, so we get our sugar cubes from Main Delight. You guys know on Instagram, if you go to Main Delight. I thought we were all out of sugar cubes, but then I found some in the car. Yeah, super cool. All right, that's perfect. We always forget our saddles and our boots and everything. We got everything we need. Turn off the lights. We're headed home. I'm starving. Like, a farrier day, even for two horses, is like a lot of hours. It's literally one o'clock. Wait, is it one o'clock? Two o'clock. Yeah, it's two o'clock, and our oh, whole day has been mom. with school and the farrier and horses. And then, like, today we're going to be all horses the whole entire day. I'm starving. Let's go home. Gabby, do you have everything you need for the other barn? Right. Make sure to grab a bottle of water. Girl, you should grab a bottle of water because you're going to want it for tonight. I'm thinking, sure Sophie. I'm yeah, Sophie has missed out on, the, like, uh, the rules are. If you want water for your lesson, bring water. I'm grade 7, grade 9. You should be able to bring water for your lesson. All right, so uh, we've been home for a while. Gabby did her first test on, she was supposed to do it on Friday, but then a bunch of stuff happened and we ended up not doing it. So she did her first online test. She has to do like this whole huge test thing. Like it's not easy and um, she hasn't got the results back yet. So she did two practice tests and the first one she got 78%, 78% yeah. And then the second one she got 80%. So it counts for her marks. Like the practice test counts for her marks. So that counts like the only one test, the one that you got the highest mark on. So, so far in her math class, she's 80%. So the test she did, she won't know yet until it comes back, but hopefully she did just as good on the test as she did in the practice, or as she did in the practice test. Hopefully she did as good in the test as she did in the practice test. It's hard, 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 hard. The very first thing was um, was algebra, and it was like polynomials, polynomials, polynomials? I forget, but anyway, yeah, it was hard stuff. We didn't even cover that in our regular. We did algebra though, so. Oh, you guys already have supper. Oh. I had a, so much fun on the trail ride, you guys. I want to ride again so bad now. Like, isn't that awful? Like, I just want to ride again. I want to ride at the Pasofino place. That's my favorite place. Some of you guys got to ride there this summer, she told me. And that is so super cool. Like, I love showing you guys places. Oh my gosh. I back it on the ground the heck oh I love showing you guys places that I love and that and then you guys get to go like it's so fun for me to share with you even more fun when we get to go and meet you there and see you there Whew. anyways um we're going back to the Pasofino place in a couple of weeks for Sophie's birthday it's turned into a thing that my kids like to do on their birthday and I'm okay with it because 
is so fun. All along I was so scared and really I had no reason to be scared. Like I know how to ride there. It's not like I could just jump on a regular horse anytime soon and then go galloping off. It's because they're gated. Gated horses ride so much differently and it's so much easier for me. They're the only horses I think I can actually ride there. Hi Ben. I just wanted to take you for a little trailer. Hmm. Hey Penny Pickle. We're just getting ready to go to the boys barn but I want to try Penny in the trailer. Hold on. Move forward there Penny. Move forward. Move forward. That's a girl. Um, the reason I want to try her is because I want to like keep doing it every day so she doesn't or at least a lot so that she doesn't forget that we, she likes the trailer now. But I wanted to tell you guys my plan for Penny Pickle. My plan for Penny Pickle is, wait, I'll tell you when we're done. Good girl, yeah. Such a pretty Penny, yeah. Wow. Good girl. Yeah, you wanna try it one more time? Okay, let's go. We're gonna stop here. Whoa. Yeah, she's snorting like crazy. Snorting. Yeah. Good girl. Yes. Yes. Good girl. Yes, I know. She's snorting. She's getting more and more comfortable in here. Some people don't believe in treat training horses. And I can see their point to an extent. Like everybody has their own different way. The person that we follow, the word person that we've like learned treat training for horses from is like a professional person in our area that uses treats. That uses treats to train horses. We're just gonna stand here for a few minutes. Good girl. And so I've gotten in the habit of it. My kids don't really like it. I make them do it like when we do specific training and stuff that the lady has taught us. But it's more my thing. But I'm curious what you guys think. Like, hey, wait. I'm curious what you guys think. Do you believe in, in treat training for horses? Just like you would with a dog or you don't believe in it at all you're okay good girl she's like more, more calm and more calm every single day i have no more treats for you go have supper go hit the road <laughs> are you mad this is her new thing this is how one of the ways she communicates with me those ears <laughs> and the snorting anyway i wanted to tell you guys that really quick before i end today's video my plan for penny my plan for penny is like a bit of a rehab here still so it is mostly walking so like um one time a week i will walk her over poles on hand by hand and then another time in the week i will ride her over the poles in the saddle and then we'll do that for a little bit and then hey be nice and then we're gonna do like a slow slow rehab to full riding. I want to by that by like the end of the season. I want to be riding her on a trail ride. Hopefully, knock on wood, I have women waiting to go with me. So that's my goal. Slow and steady wins the race. That's my hope. That's my prayer. That's my dream. Um, but that is it for today's video. We're headed out to the other barn now. We're going to see Storm and see who the girls pick to ride. Uh, Gabby is hoping to ride a specific horse and uh if you guys don't know all the social media like facebook and instagram and and messenger have all been out today it's been like killing me it's awful i have a friend that i talked to on there and it's awful anyway so i haven't been able to talk to brandon today because i talked to him on there too and um we're gonna see but gabby has a specific horse we're gonna see i'm gonna ask him we'll see if he lets her ride this horse but anyway that's it and we'll see you guys tomorrow don't you know that you're beautiful